Hello and welcome to the Christmas show. Over the next few days I'll be playing through the Two Fat Lardies Storming the Citadel pint size campaign, which is based on the Gross Deutschland attack at Kursk. The campaign has six rungs as listed here. This is Panzer Marsch. It's the 5th of July and after preliminary operations the German offensive begins in earnest. The Panzers roll into the forward Soviet outpost in Petovo, which has been turned into a stronghold. This is an attack and defend scenario. One platoon for the Soviets is looking pretty ragged now. The Leutnant's dead, so Sergeant Anatoly Bogov has taken over. They also have two acting sergeants in charge of two and three section. To reflect these acting ranks and acting up, they will all have one less command initiative than usual. So the platoon commander will have two command initiatives and two and three section uh, leaders will only have one command initiative. They are thin on the ground with regards to riflemen, but for support they have a 76mm anti-tank gun, a Maxim machine gun with junior uh, leader and two entrenchments. The Germans, on the other hand, are rotating in their third fresh platoon. It's the standard Orbat, commanded by Lieutenant Rudolf von Messerschmitt. For support, he has a platoon sergeant, senior leader, a uh, tripod-mounted MG42, a Panzer III Flampanzer with a junior leader, and because they won Scenario 1, the Germans will get a preliminary bombardment for this game. This is the southern approach to Betovo. It's pretty open, and for the Germans assaulting, there's just one patch of rough ground to the right-hand side of the table as we look. All fences, hedges and buildings are light cover only. The Soviet platoon has three jump-off points as indicated by the red X's here. Whereas the Germans have one jump-off point to the left-hand side of the table edge, one on the front table edge as you look, and one just to the rear of the rough patch of ground on the right. The German force morale is on 11 and the Soviets are on 9, so they're holding their own with morale at the moment. Right, I think the plan for the Germans would be to get, obviously, some people in that uh, soft cover there, or get the flam panzer to uh, drive up the centre. Uh, a lot of open ground on the left, so I'm going to stay away from that. So we'll hook into the village from the right-hand side from the German perspective. OK, we're off and running. Oh, look at that. End of turn, second phase, um, three, three, four. So straight away, one of the sections will get in here. What I haven't been doing on previous uh, games is making sure the section was split into the two teams and indeed rolling for hits and shock, etc. So hopefully I've got that rectified. Platoon Sergeant will also just tuck in behind. And then on the other three, the uh, front hand. Right, full on phase. Uh, three fours, two and a six is a chain of command. Now I think I've just realised actually, uh, the end of turn was at the end of the last phase. So uh, they come off overwatch, they can't stay on it. Which is a shame for the Germans, but there we go. Right then, um, I think because of the dice, I'm going to get the uh, platoon sergeant to get this section to move. I'll go three dice, six. I'll go ten. Each team takes a point of shock. Again, this is something I wasn't doing last time. And there will be a replacement section here. And we can't go into Overwatch because um, they're only deploying on a two. And that is it for the Germans. Right, the Soviet phase. Six does nothing. One, two, two, four. And on the one, I'm going to get the uh, medium machine gun to deploy here. And there's a gap over to the Germans. So 10 dice, hitting on 5, 6 because of the range is just 2 hits. Right, left hand team, uh, nothing, and right hand team is 1 shock. 
right the uh, the Soviets have got a real uh, difficult area to defend actually because um, of all these fences around here and they're, and they're back here um, so I've got to be a bit careful the fields of fire are not brilliant right so on a two uh, I think I'm going to deploy uh, one of the sections here um, they'll have limited line of sight because of these trees but they can certainly hit on the left flank and into this uh, sort of field area on their right uh, they've got to deploy on a four five six which they do there we go they're in um, so uh, I've got a real challenge with the uh, Soviets I can't go forward here because I'm going to get caught in this um, area and get mown down but that's what they're going to go for and on the second two I'm going to get another section deployed here again in an entrenchment and they also deploy now this section's got uh, two LMGs uh, but the junior leader only has one command initiative I will not be using the four to deploy the Leutnant at the moment. Right, German phase. They'll use a second one of their special dice. Uh, six is a chain of command. Two ones, a two, and two fours. Okay, on the four, the platoon sergeant will activate. He's going to take a point of shock off that section and get them to engage the uh, MMG in that hedge line uh, just by the trees. 19 dice hitting on 5-6. Not bad. Uh, soft cover. 4-5 shock, 6 kill. So that is ooh, a massive 5 shock. There's 5 crew and a junior leader, so they're okay for the moment. On a 3 then, the flam panzer is going to move. Right, he's going to move flat out. Um, to this area here. Right, he goes, uh, what's that, 16? You've seen the tracer going in to that area from the uh, section on the right. So he wants to get in on the action. He's probably going to get up to the uh, fence before he can start firing with his uh, flamethrower. Right, that's the end of the German phase. This is the Soviets. Two chain of commands, two, three, four. Right on three, the MMG is going to take a point of shock off, or the junior leader will take a point of shock off, and get it to fire again at the German section. Ten dice hitting on five, six. That's uh, three hits. Uh, yeah, I should be splitting these. Uh, so it's two on this one. Uh, that is one shock, one kill, and one on the other one is one shock. Is the kill on the junior leader? Oh, it is. One, two, three, it's the uh, junior leader. Uh, four, five, six, it's the senior leader. It's the senior leader. What's happened to him? Uh, he's knocked out. Mm. All right, that's not good. Uh, bad things happen. One. Minus one point for the Germans and they're on 10 force morale. But more important for, you, for them, uh, he's knocked out and he won't be able to do too much until the end of a turn. What to do, what to do. On a two. Right, I'm thinking about getting the other Soviet section uh, moving forward here tactically. Um, they can line up in the woods. They've got to deploy first. Well, they don't anyway. It's taken away my decision because I was a bit dubious about that anyway. All right, end of phase. Okay, so uh, Germans have got another uh, extra dice. Six is the chain of command. Four ones and a two. Right, one and two added together. Uh, the flam panzer is going to go up to that fence. Move one dice six. Oh, it's just going to go up there and apparently can find the full effect. Right, it's a crunching 16 dice, no cover, and all shock is doubled, hitting on a 456. Right, not bad. Uh, so, uh, oh, that could have been a lot better. Wow, look at that. Uh, three shock, which is six shock. So they go to 10. There is um, five and a junior leader, 
therefore they are uh, so that's six so they're, they're pinned uh, they're not broken okay with the three ones added together for a three the junior leader with this section in the rough ground he'll take a point of shock off uh, engage the medium machine gun all right five and sixes And it's four, five, shock, six, kill. Uh, that is one point of shock. So they go to uh, 11 shock. Um, yeah, actually, because they're pinned, they become hard cover, but it was a five, so it's still within a shock. Um, so it's 11. So again, they're still pinned and not broken. All right, Soviets. Okay, two chain of commands, one, one, three. Right, on a one, the Zis anti-tank gun will deploy just behind the hedgerow here, and it will engage the Flampanzer. Right, I think he needs eight to hit. Um, the target moved flat out up to that hedge. They are slightly obscured. Got ten. He's hit. Now it's an AP of seven. So in his fives and sixes, oh, that's a massive hit. Five. And it's six armor for the Flampanzer. Um, they've saved three. So it's net two. All right, what's the effect? Five. Oh, it's never good. Mm, two shock. Hull MG out of action for the game. Well, to be honest, they probably weren't going to use their Hull MG anyway. Uh, more the flamethrower, so that's uh, ooh, that's a real shame the uh, Soviets didn't get a kill on that, but they were very close. Right on the three, the junior leader here will take off two points of shock. Uh, yeah, and he's got to really, yeah. Okay, so they're down to nine. Right, on the th uh, four, I've just realised that... Um, of course, the uh, the Germans started with an end of turn, so the uh, preliminary bombardment uh, didn't happen. So uh, as it was, the Soviets deployed anyway. But now I haven't got a role for the senior leader. Now he is going to deploy um, right here and take off three points of shock. They are now not pinned. I think I'll probably mess that up. Uh, I should have done senior leader first. Um, then activated the junior leader uh, to get him to fire at half effect. But anyway, I've done it now. German phase. Uh, one, one, three, three, five. All right, well, I think the Flampanzer just goes for it again. Because that shock, he's only got 15 dice now. Uh, brilliant. Uh, four hits. Um, now, I guess uh, two goes on the MMG. Uh, that is two shock and two goes on the gun, which is nothing. Oh, they got away with that massively. All right, so two shock goes on these guys. They're now back to being pinned, but they're certainly not broken. So judicious use of command initiatives there to take off that shot. Hurrah, well done me. Right, on a two then, the uh, section of the rough ground will fire at the uh, MMG. Five and sixes. Now we'll have uh, four on the MMG. Oh, which is nothing. Oh, dear, oh dear. What's happening to German rolls? And this is on the uh, Zis gang. One shock. Right, on the three then, the junior leader with the right flanking section will take off a point of shock and get them moving. I'll move them up to the uh, hedge line, I think. So go two dice six, less one because of that shock there. So they'll go six. Right, Soviet phase. Uh, they desperately need a one or, oh, that's a good roll actually. One, three, three, four, four. Well, they don't use one of the fours. Uh, right, on the four. The senior leader, 
I did cheat last time. I took off three uh, shock. Should only be two because he's um, he's the uh, sergeant acting up. He'll take off two points of shock here. On the one, the Zis will uh, fire again at the Flam Panzer. This is point blank range stuff. Uh, that's a cracking hit. Okay, AP of seven. Looking for fives and sixes. He's got four hits. That's another good strike. What's the Flam Panzer's defence like this time? Looking for fives and sixes. He's got two. So it's net one. Two. Well, that's one shock. And the driver panics. And they can't drive. All right, the junior leader with the medium machine gun uh, will take off um, two points, of sh uh, one point of shock. Where does that take them? That takes them down to five. So they're now not pinned, so they can fire at half effect at the Germans. Right, use the damage, uh, hitting on 5-6, only one hit. I'll do that on this side here, and uh, the effect is nothing. Right, on the other two, I'm going to get uh, one of the other sections to um, come around here. I want them to uh, get around to the right-hand side of this central building. Right, German attack is, I think, in a little bit danger of stalling. So they're going to use their last extra dice now, see if that makes any difference. We've got double phase, which is good. Cheney command, two, three, four. Right, I think we're still able to fire with the Flam Panther. It's just the machine gun and the driver not doing anything. Uh, three shocks, well, that's three dice. Let's see what we can do incineration-wise. Um, well, that's not a brilliant hit. Five. Damage. The damage is um, three shock. Is that it? Uh, six shock. Six shock. Okay. Right. I should have split that up. So it'll be three shock on each side. So they're up to four. And these guys will be up to eight. And they're pinned again. Right. On the two. Section will fire again. Three on fives and sixes. Five hits. And that is one shock. I should again, I should have split that, shouldn't I? Um, right, one, two, three, it's the gun. Uh, four, five, six, it's the Zis. Right, right follow on phase for the Germans. Uh, five, Chen, you've got a full dice now. Three, three, four, four. One of the same from the Flam Panzer. Okay, it's a good hit. Right, he's going to have three dice on the um, MMG. Uh, that's six shock. And four dice on the Zis. That is six shock. So it's six shock on each. Right, so um, I think finally the gun is, uh, machine gun is going to break. They've got 14 shock. There's five, six with the junior leader. So they are broken. So it's two dice, six plus six, eight, 14. And that is them off the table. That's a support unit routing five. Minus two, and the Soviets are on fourth morale of seven. Right, now, for the gun, uh, it's five, six. Um, they are pinned. or oh, not quite broken. One more to break them. Okay, more of the same by the section here. He'll take that point of shock off, and then uh, clatter the rounds into the Zis. Uh, fives and sixes. So that's four hits. Uh, one kill. Right, is the kill on the junior leader? No, it's not. So they've got a casualty there. Which means there's four, five with uh, 11. So they are broken. And run away. Uh, they go five plus six is 11. Um, they'll have to abandon the gun, so I'll take them off there. Which leaves the lieutenant on his own. Wrong, the sergeant on his own. 
Bad things happen for a support unit routing too. It's minus one, the Russians are on six force morale. Uh, it's a bit of a luxury, but I will pay a chain of command dice. Uh, probably should have done that at the beginning to end the phase, which means that a platoon sergeant can get up at the end of this. Um, otherwise, I was going to have to deploy the uh, platoon commander, which I don't really want to do at the moment. Right, so that's it. End of go. So that is the end of the turn. Uh, I don't think anything happens. Uh, the gun crews run away already, so uh, it is now over to the Soviet phase. Uh, right, well, it's another end. <laughs> Look at that end of turn immediately. Uh, it's a double phase effectively for the Soviets, two and a three. Right on a three, uh, this section is going to leg it, I'm trying to get up here and get the rounds down. Uh, oh dear, we only go six. Take a point of shock as well. I think uh, I think they'll take advantage of that and have a little bit of a think about this for a while. This section is going to also get it here. I might completely bugger this up. Uh, I'm going to hop over that hedge. So they go three. So they just about get over. What the Soviets are trying to do is do a mad dash to the uh, fence line there, get some rounds down, and. Um, Try and do some damage and then withdraw quickly. All right. Double phase, right. Now, here we go, here we go. On the two. Oh, we've got... Right, on the one and two added together. Second leader, take that off. Get them to double up to the fence line. There you go, nine. Which is just about enough. They can't fire this go, um, and I get this section also to move up to that fence line. Uh, they will double, and they go 11, so they've made it as well. Right. Now they need the next phase, a good roll, so they can actually do something. This game is hanging by the balance. Can the Soviets do some damage? Uh, they get a good roll. Three twos and a three. Right, both these sections then will be firing at that German section in the uh, rough ground. Right, so it's 15 dice for the left-hand team. They're hitting on four, five, six. In the range, and that's a fantastic hit. Look at that. They needed that to be the um, damage. Uh, so it's five on each team. So the right-hand team, as we look, is uh, two shock. And the left-hand team, as we look, is uh, uh, two kill and one shock. Right, so two shock on that team there. One shock on that team there. Is one of the kills on the junior leader? No, it's not. And the other Soviet section hitting with the same number of dice. Four, five, six to hit. Another cracking hit there. Right, so that's going to be four on them and five on them. Five on these guys uh, is three shock and one kill. Is the kill on the junior leader. It is. What's happened to him? He is knocked out. Before I forget, I'll do a bad things happen. One, no effect. Right, the other four hits are just one shock only. Right, so I make it um, four shock on two bods of a team. So they will rout. It's two dice six plus six, uh, so that's nine. Bad things happen for a team at routing five. That's minus one, and that German team is loitering there. Right, that was a bit of kind of an all or nothing by the Soviets there to rush up to that fence line and get the rounds down. They've, they've done a big hit there, 
are they going to suffer for it? Oh, Germans have got a double phase and two chain of commands and a two. Well, I think really at this stage with just that two, there's not a lot I... Oh, hold on. All right, on the two, the final German section will deploy here. And they will immediately engage the uh, Soviets on that fence line. All right, four, five, six to hit. cracking here I'm gonna to have to split them uh, on each section because they're so close together so seven there and six there do the left hand section first seven they are light cover so that is going to be one kill and two shots and the right hand group is going to be one two kill and three shock All right left hand group is the kill on the junior leader it is ooh, he is knocked out A bad things happen. Three. Minus one. The Soviets are on five force morale. Okay, two kill on this side. So is it the junior leader? It's not. So he's lost a couple of riflemen there. Right, follow on phase four, the Germans. Uh, two chain of commands. One, two, two. Right, one and two added together for the three. The um, Flampanzer commander will take off two points of shock. They're down to one. And on a two, we'll have more of the same, please, from this section that's just deployed. Getting on a four, five, six. Uh, not so good this time. Uh, three hits on each of those sections. Left hand section. Ooh, one shot, two kill. Right hand section. Uh, one shot. Right, is the kill on the junior leader? It is not, so two riflemen from the right hand section disappear. Soviet phase, uh, three ones, a two and a five. Okay, I think that's it. The Soviets have done as much damage as they probably can before getting absolutely hammered. Uh, clearly the support elements hoovered up a lot of the um, hits there. Um, they'd had a little bit of a who's are running forward, put some rounds down, but they took four casualties there. So I think it's time for the Soviets to uh, withdraw back to the uh, further strong point in the village of Batovo. So a victory for the Germans. Um, but I think they had to fight a little bit harder that time. So German three platoon, uh, fourth morale at the end was nine. They had two killed, one senior leader wounded and one junior leader wounded. Those two casualties will return immediately. The Soviet platoon numbers continue to be whittled down. They lost another four casualties and a junior leader wounded. However, two of those casualties will be able to return immediately. Okay, so the Germans have broken into Betovo. The next scenario is hold the line. Can the Soviets stop the Groys Deutschland steamroller? There's only one way to find out. Tune in next time. See you tomorrow.